Hey, welcome. So let's see how quick we can get some applications created here. So this is the application development kit. It's at our Craven slash kit. You can follow along. I've already done this quick start where I've created up this directory structure. You can see that over in the left hand, this is a PyCharm uh, IDE, but you can use whatever development environment you want. And I have a high level code called kit. I have an empty code directory in there. And then in this infra directory, I have the kit repo that I've cloned from over here. So to create a new application, you use the kit new command. And here you can see the different templates that currently exist. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new Django app and it asks you a bunch of questions. So I'm just gonna use the defaults here for the Django. Then it'll build the image and do everything it has to do in the background with that template. And eventually it will spin that Django app up. So you can see the Django app here. Of course, we're secure. We're just gonna make it insecure by editing and setting all hosts to star. We'll refresh. All right, so we're up with Django. And you can see in the code directory, there's a Django app. In the apps directory, I have infrastructure code for the Django app. So let's do kit new fast API. Same process again, answer some questions. I'm just gonna accept the reasonable defaults on this. It's gonna build the image and create the application. So we're already running for fast API. There's a fast API directory here with all of the code for the application, which is just a very simple app here. And there is the infrastructure code. Up next is Flask. Again, I'm gonna accept the defaults building it, running it, and we're running the Flask app. Flask app is here, so everything's there. Has the container, all the Python, everything is set up for you, and that's built using the infrastructure code here, and you can obviously come in and change this if you wanted. Up next is Laravel. I'm gonna accept all the defaults again here. This image is a little bit different because the container contains not just the web application, but also contains a MySQL instance and a Redis instance. A little bit different, uh, just to kind of show the possibilities. Same process, I'll go through building the image. Uh, it'll do all of the build of the code, so composer install, npm install, everything you need. Ran the migrations. And this particular instance also is running a self-signed certificate. So we have a self-signed certificate, so we're running it with HTTPS. Up next is let's start up a MySQL service. For this one, we will change the default port because that one got taken by the Laravel application. It will spin up an instance here. Nothing really changed up here, although you will see a, a new uh, application in the infrastructure. And the only way you can really tell that this is running is if you look at your containers in your Docker desktop. You know, I can see the Django app, the Fast API, but down here at the bottom, there's MySQL. Up next is Postgres SQL. And we'll accept all the defaults here. And that's up and running. We'll just take a look. There's the container with the port shared. And finally, a Redis. And we'll accept the defaults. And Redis is up and running. And you can see it in the Docker desktop. So very quickly, we have all those applications and services uh, up and running on our development environment. When I'm done, if I wanna clean everything up, I can use the destroy command. So I can say kit Redis. I tell it which application I want to destroy. It'll ask me to confirm. I say yes. It'll not only shut the container down, it will delete the images, and it will remove your application directory. So you can repeat that and going backwards for all of them. So the intent of these templates is to allow you to quickly 
get your infrastructure set up and running for whatever service or development environment or tech stack that you want. Once you have the infrastructure as code, you can modify it to meet your needs. So for example, on this Laravel, if I come on down to the Docker file, if I wanted to, I could uncomment this code and install everything that's needed for SQL Server ODBC support, or I could add other changes, whatever I need to do to the Docker file. But the template provides the initial infrastructure as code that you need just to get up and running. And then once you're a developer, the template also provides you easy access to all the commands. So if I scroll through the command list, these are the commands that are built into the kit themselves. This is like the base set of commands. And then once you start to get down here, you're gonna see application specific commands. So there's a, a build command for the Django application. There's a build command for FastAPI. If we look at the Laravel, there's artisan commands and composer. So all of those commands then come with the templates and you can modify and tweak all of those. So if you wanna change how your Django app is built, you can come in here and look and see there's a command called build. So this is the build script. So if I want to build and collect my static assets, I can uncomment that. If I want to change additional things, I can do those also. If I want to create my own commands, you know, I just need to have this following format where it has these three functions. I can create a new command inside that directory and the build, the kit system will automatically pull that command in for you.